Hello everyone and welcome back to Bill's Workbench. This is, uh, I think it's going to be season two or three, I hope. Yeah, it will be. Um, got a new uh, new toy. As you can tell, it's in a box. So yeah, it's uh, eBay time again. But I'm uh, switching gears a little bit. Black I switch gears all the time. You know, new projects. Squirrel. This one, as you can see, if you know what it is, this is a Gold Pan RC10. This is the original RC10 from the early or the 80s and into the 90s. This is what all the cool kids were racing. When I first started into RC cars was when I was little, and this car just first come out, and this is, you know, I wanted one of these really bad. I did finally get one, and raced one for a lot of years. I decided that, hey, I want a new one. I want to get one again. So here it is. It's not in bad shape. It's in pretty good shape. It's, you know, it's been ridden. It's been driven. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do in this series is bring this thing back to life. Now, I'm not going to restore this car because I want to drive it. I want to uh, see about racing if I can find a racetrack around here. Um, so yeah, I want to uh, bring this thing back to life and race it around. It is a A-Pan version, which is the earlier version. Uh, for those of you who know anything about this. But yeah, this uh, car was a good price and got some parts to it. Some aftermarket wheels. It's got the original wheels, the team associated tires for the front and wheels. With the bushings. We've got the shocks still. So there's. battery tray we got the thing for the for this up here tray holder servo savers their servo arms steering arms all the other pieces some bearings I don't I think that's motor bearings and a whole bunch of screws and other parts. So yeah. I don't have the rear axles. I do have those uh, on order. I ordered them. Hey, there's a bearing. So I did get some parts for this. What the heck did I get? Well, I got a motor and uh, hobby fans. You know, the fancier the motor or, or the least fancy the motor, the more fancy the box. So I have a a brushless motor to put in this thing with the electronic speed control. It's a cheapy one, so get started with something. Then need don't want too much power for this because I don't know if the transmission can handle it. I've got um, servo savers, which uh, allow it so that if when you're when you hit a corner or what have you, it, it it's a give. It allows give to the servo and the servo arm. A new set of bearings. That I get. I had some turn some turnbuckles, some fancy ones, and some M3 thread. So I'll be redoing all of the turnbuckles because these get loose over time, and they're actually in, well, they're not in that bad of shape, but it is what it is. So yeah, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So I hope you join me in this season where I get working on these. Well, I get working on this car again and uh, get it driving. So I guess the first step on this thing is uh, I need to take it all apart and clean it all up and inspect it to make sure it's going to survive. So if you're interested in that, stay uh, stay tuned. That'll be in the next video up on this series. 
uh, if you're interested in seeing this whole series, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Thanks a lot, and we will uh, talk to you again real soon.